so here it is, take two. I just can't believe it's going to end like this. Just all of it, you know. 14 all, three seconds to go. They've run the ball just good enough here on this final drive to get in field goal range and run the clock out. Ohio Stadium's trying to make some noise. Looks like they got some something there to try to distract the kicker, but here we go from 41 yards. Are they going to snap it? He gets the snap off. Nice. Oh, man. There he goes. Doing the windmill. Yeah, who are you? Pete Townsend, buddy. The Michigan State kicker acting like he's a rock star, man. You're not. You know, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. So, that does it. 17 to 14 is the final score. I'm F Zappa 20. I guess we'll just get right into the recap. It's not going to be a recap. It was just an ugly day, an ugly game, an ugly final score. Early on, the weather was bad, whatever. Not to make an ex I'm not making excuses. Just the, uh, the offense looked horrible today. The play calling was horrible. The execution was horrible. A couple of just some of the worst offside penalties you've ever seen. Not that the calls were bad. Joey Boza jumped offsides at one point on a fourth and eight. Michigan State was in no man's land. They might not have even been trying to snap the ball. He might have fell for the oldest trick in the book. So then that makes it fourth and three. They go for it. They run it. They get a first down. And he had a situation on a punt. So, I mean, this could have been a shutout, really, man. The Buckeyes, both of their touchdowns were on very short drives after turnovers or a muffed punt. Nice play by McLaurin. On the muffed punt, number 83, the freshman, might have been the only play of the day. I don't know. The defense made some plays throughout the day. Oh, God, I just looked over one time, and they're showing Pete Townsend over there, that idiot kicker. I hate that guy. I don't know who he is. Never heard of him before today, and I hate him. Coach D'Antonio, that makes me a little sick, seeing that guy. So, I don't know. I don't know what this means for the playoffs. Pretty much means nothing. I don't even know what happens if you don't make the playoffs. What happens if you don't make the playoffs? Never even considered it. A lot of crazy things could still happen, I suppose. Definitely need to beat Michigan next week. But I don't even know. Oh, man, I hate to see that. Sparty celebrating in Ohio Stadium. Interviewing Coach D. That's horrible. It's just horrible. What a horrible way to go, that final drive, just agonizing. Stretched it out, running the ball, killing the clock, just doing good enough to get in field goal range. No, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want it to end like this. At least wanted to get into the playoffs. Well, it doesn't matter. You know, there's still some time to go. It's just sickening. You hear that silence? Hold on. I can, I can kind of hear this idiot over here. I shouldn't call Coach D an idiot, but it's the feeling right now, man. Just, just flatlined. <sighs> well, that's pretty sickening. Oh, man, Joshua Perry's crying. Well, that was his final home game. He knows, man, it's over. Who knows what this means for guys that were on the brink. I'm assuming if they had went on and had won back, that's nah, stupid to even think about it. Zeke and Boza and these guys that could potentially come back. Was this their final home game? They don't want this to be their final home game, do they? That's sickening. So Michigan State, man, they played a really good game. I'll say that for those, those guys, dude. One loss doesn't matter. You saw how they finished last year. They didn't let it, they don't let a loss get them down. Maybe Ohio State can learn from that. Finish their year strong. I don't know the Cotton Bowl or something. What even happens if you don't go to the playoffs? The Orange Bowl or something? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even want to think about the Kleenex Cotton Bowl. All right. Ezekiel Elliott's hundred yard streak. They gave the kicker the game ball. Guy missed one earlier in the game. Now he's a hero. Should have given it to that offensive line. Michigan State offensive line played well. Played well everywhere. You know, Buckeyes defense played well. Last couple drives they did not. JT Barrett didn't look great at quarterback. Throwing the ball. The few times they did throw the ball. Braxton Miller couldn't really get involved. I don't know. 
I mean, I knew their offense wasn't exactly on track, but I didn't know they were just borderline this this horrible. I mean, that was horrible. Everybody says they missed Tom Herman. Get out of here. Well, I don't know. The play calling was pretty pretty bad tonight. So, I don't know. I've said enough. Oh, there's Herbie. Herbie and Fowler. Ugh. Well, I'm F Zappa 20. They're the Buckeyes. 10 and 1 now. Now that showdown with Iowa is not going to happen. None of it's going to happen. The Alabama fight. Just, just disgusting. Disgusting. 48 and 4 now, Urban Meyer is. All right, we're out of here, guys. Cheer up, man. Cheer up. Talking to myself there, I guess, basically. I'm sure if you're a Sparty fan or if you're a whatever. I know what you are, man. But that's it.